You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports fans, let's talk about ESPN and their favorite son. At least the guy that used to be their favorite son, LeBron James, LaChana James, LaWolt James. Because it seems now, folks, that ESPN has turned their back on LeBron James. LeBron James, the man that has destroyed the NBA. And the season is actually going to be coming up here pretty soon. Training camp is going to be starting probably like probably like in a month, if I'm not mistaken, for the 2021-22 NBA season. And we know that uh, LeBron went out there this offseason and engineered the oldest team in NBA history. I mean, this team is super duper old. Now, they have a bunch of names. Dwight Howard, Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Russell Westbrook. I mean, the names, if they were in their prime, this would absolutely be a stat team. But LeBron engineered this, and I believe, folks, that injuries are going to take over this team once again. LeBron has struggled with, with injuries. We've seen that Anthony Davis, I mean, he's the youngest one. Uh, Dwight Howard, old. And they keep signing old guys to this roster. But now, guys, when it comes to who is the favorite to be the MVP, ESPN has turned their back on LeBron James. So let's get into this. Over here on Lakers Daily, which is definitely pro Lakers here, it says LeBron James severely disrespected by ESPN as it, it releases latest NBA predictions. And we're talking about the MVP predictions here. So let's read this. Los Angeles Lakers superstar LeBron James received very little respect from ESPN's panel of experts in a preseason prediction poll for the 2021-22 NBA MVP award. And as you can see here, folks, to nobody's surprise, Kevin Durant and Giannis are one and two. Now, Kevin Durant got 45 uh, points, 38.9% of first place votes. Giannis, who is actually now the finals MVP, the reigning uh, NBA champ, 38 points, 33.3% of first place votes. And if I'm not mistaken, ESPN did a poll of the best player in the NBA. And I believe that Kevin Durant and Giannis were one and two. LeBron James was not anywhere to be found in the top two. If I'm not mistaken, I think he had dropped the third or something like that. But it gets even worse when it comes to these MVP predictions here. Luka Doncic from Dallas, 35 points, 16.7% first place votes. Joel Embiid, Philadelphia, 14 points, 5.6% uh, first place votes. James Harden, who actually plays on the same team as Kevin Durant, got 11 points and he got first place votes, 5.6% of first place votes. And then Steph Curry at six, Golden State got 10 points, no first place votes. And then LeBron James coming in at seventh with seven points and zero First place votes. None. Now, I don't know if this has ever happened in LeBron's career, you know, at least in, in his prime years. But ESPN feels like he has no shot whatsoever to be the MVP. Now, do I think LeBron is going to have solid numbers? Yeah, I do. LeBron's going to have solid numbers, but I don't know if he can stay healthy. I mean, the man is going to be 37 at the end of December. And we've seen him struggle with injuries and he's getting older. So it's going to be harder for his body to, to recover. Now it says here, James finished in the poll and did not receive any first place votes. Players like Kevin Durant, Giannis, Luca earned the majority of the first place votes in the poll. Now here's something also that's kind of interesting here. Others receiving votes. Nikola Jokic who just won the MVP, they don't think he has any shot either. And of course, Anthony Davis, I don't believe Anthony Davis is ever going to win an MVP. He's, he just struggles too much with injuries. And when, when he actually has to carry a team on his back 
Anthony Davis is just not that guy. He's not. It says uh, two members of the Brooklyn Nets bit three finished ahead of James. In addition to Durant, James Harden topped the Lakers uh, superstar in the voting. James is hoping that his Lakers new bit three will be able to compete with Brooklyn's trio in the upcoming campaign. One thing is for sure. James has no shortage of motivation for the 2021-22 season. And I'm pretty sure, you know, LeBron is seeing this, but he gets very, very triggered by things like this. He'll go out there on Twitter, you know, and just uh, put up a hissy fit on Twitter. Oh, why y'all disrespecting us? You know, our ages and all this. Us. He, the man is such a baby. He really, really is. Uh, it says here, the 36 year old has been disrespected countless times throughout the all season. He'll surely be looking to prove the naysayers wrong throughout the year. The 17 time all star is looking for his fifth. NBA title. Well, more like um, that bubble championship, more like four and a half, because a lot of people don't respect that bubble championship. But I digress. But what do you guys think of this? What do you guys think of ESPN's MVP prediction? They are giving LaChina James basically no shot whatsoever. I believe a lot of it has to do with his age and also the roster's age. I mean, this team is super old, even though some people in the media are actually picking them to come out the West, but the age is a huge factor, man. It really is a huge factor. And LeBron James, injury prone to the past three years. They may actually be right with this, but I don't think that James Harden is actually going to um, get top seven MVP votes just because he plays alongside Kevin Durant and Kevin Durant is a better player. Now, Last season, though, remember, KD did have some injuries. James Harden was balling and he was in the MVP conversation. Then he got injured. Then he kind of fell out. So we'll have to see what actually happens with that. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.